Y'all remember that John Bon Jovi album, Slippery When Wet Blending? It's not what it's called. We're going to wet blend today. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercade of Painting. Today we're going to be painting a summoner of, Z of Tzatziki. Nope, no, nope. Zinch. Tzinch? Uh, yeah, what, one of those. I mean, a summoner of Zinch. Yep. And we're going to be doing a bunch of wet blending. So let's get into it. So we give him a spray of black and then a zenithal of white from above through the airbrush. And then our first color we're going to go to is Caribbean Ocean. And we are going to use this on all of the armor bits that he has so just check your reference photos um there's quite a bit of this armor on there but we just want to get it on there there's a couple spots that i put it on that shouldn't probably have gone but bad ah, we'll figure that out later and we're taking a raging sea and tidal wave here the raging sea is going to go near the top and the tidal wave down near the bottom so we kind of want to get it from a turquoisey color to a blue color and we're going to put on that first color and while it's still wet we're going to start adding our raging sea here and slowly just blend those two colors together And we're going to take some Pilar Glacier and some Magos Purple. Now the Pilar Glacier is going to go all over his skin, so his hands and his head here. And then near the top of his eye stalks, I don't know what, what, what they are, the top of where his eyes are, we're going to start putting on that Magos Purple and blending that in. So we're doing a nice transition from the Pilar Glacier to the Magos Purple. Next, we're gonna take some ivory here and we're just gonna clean up his eyes and just white his eyes again because we did get quite a bit of Pilar Glacier on him. And we're gonna take some pallid bone and this is just gonna go on the bone parts of the armor that he has. I checked the Games Workshop website a ton and screenshotted the miniature because I kept forgetting what colors were what. So, it's good to have a reference photo if you're trying to sort of match the original color scheme, which is what we're doing here, only we're going to do with speed paint. So we're going to match the colors, not the quality. <laughs> That's what we do here. Color match, not not quality match. We're, we're not professional painters. But And I would say yet, but never going to be. <laughs> This is all about teaching you guys easy ways to get things done. Ancient Honey, Gilly Dew, Lizard Folk Cyan, and Moon Lake Coral. This is for the feathers. So we're going to start with the Ancient Honey. Then we're going to put in the green. Then we're going to go to the blue. And then we're going to go to the Moon Lake Coral. So we're wet blending all of these colors together on these feathers. And the effect at the end is really nice. And we're going to take some turquoise and some ducat blue and we're going to dry brush our turquoise on the top part of that skirt and then switch to the ducat blue and do it on the bottom part. And the reason we're doing that is sometimes when you use the speed paints you get uh, staining on some bigger flatter surfaces so we're just going to smooth it out with those colors. Next we're taking some ivory again here and we're just going to dry brush on the feathers that we wet blended. We're going to take some murder scene and this is just going in his mouth. Next, we're going to take some gunner camo and this is going to go on the weird uh, block head parts. The weird like monolith things coming out of his head. He's a weirdo. That's all I can say. Then we're going to take some escorpina green and we are just going to do a edge highlight on that gunner camo we just did so this is a rough edge highlight just to kind of bring out that that is like a weird greeny color familiar pink purple swarm and caribbean ocean we are wet blending all of this on his weird uh lobster claw staff i don't know honestly games workshop has some of the weirdest designs i, I don't know the zinch guys are like birds but have like lobster bits 
<laughs> lobster bits is just a weird thing to say on its own. Either way, we're just doing these colors and uh, blending them in and wet blending them in while they're still wet and uh, just kind of working them into each other. And it turns out really nice. Next, we're taking some Horde Bronze and we are using this on all of the uh, chest plate armor bits and also all of the trim on the armor that we already did before. And this, you just want to go through and be careful and take your time because you don't really want to get this on any of the spots where we don't want that color. So uh, every spot, basically the metal that we left so far, this is going on there. Also the tops of his weirdo hat. Next, we're going to take some bright red and this is going to go on the cover of the book that he's holding. Uh, you know, because he's, he's into literacy. It's a reading rainbow. And we're hopping back to that ivory. I know we've gone back to it a couple times here, but we're just going to uh, dot in some of these areas on his armor and stuff because we want to put some other colors on them after. So armor, the bone parts, anywhere there's eyes. And also we're going to go in and do his teeth at this time. Next, we're going to jump back to that palette bone that's just going to go all over the pages of the book that he has. We're going to take some maize yellow and some fire giant orange here. We're going to put our maize yellow on these flames first. And then after we've got all that on there, we're going to work in our fire giant orange just for our fire. Now we're going to take some glittering loot here and that's going on the handle of his... Uh, ceremonial spirit dagger I don't know and also the metal spots on his book we're gonna take some zealot yellow here and this is gonna go all over the eyes that he has and we're gonna grab some shamrock green and any of these white spots that we picked out on the armor it's going on there Take a little bit of polished silver. We're going to put this on the blade of his dagger, and this guy is done. And here he is, all finished up. And honestly, we did a lot of wet blending, we did some dry brushing, we did a lot of techniques on this, and I think he turned out really good. I'm really happy with how this looks. So, Hopefully you guys agree. I mean, we didn't do a lot of work on it. We didn't do layering. We didn't do a lot of highlighting. We did some really simple techniques for with wet blending and made this look really good in a pretty short amount of time. What do you guys think? Are you going to use some wet blending of speed paints or contrast paints in the future? If so, let me know in the comments below. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. And we're going to take some Gunner Camo. Gunner Camo is a silly name. Anybody, everybody who's in a battle wants, I, I would assume, to have camo. They're not just running out there in orange prison fatigues. No, only the Gunners get camo. Nobody else. I think it'd be really weird to sit down and have dinner with this guy. He's a, he's a real weirdo.